All right, folks, this just may be one of my favorite couples travel trailers. I know, I know, it's saying a lot, but it is an amazing layout. You have really nice amenities in here. It's bright, it's open, it's airy. This is the Keystone Outback Ultralight 260 UML. And I, again, I love the way that they have this set up. You have this huge slide right here, which opens up this space, but it's still fairly light. It comes in right around 6,200 pounds, which is fairly light for being over 31 foot. Now, normally you would have a sofa right here. I personally really like the optional theater seating because it's directly across from the TV. And this is where you wanna be able to sit, kick back and relax, right? This'll be like the best seating. It's just two of you, you can sit, you can hang out, watch TV. I love, love, love this setup. You get that entertainment feel here. Of course, you have cup holders as you would expect, you know, place for the remotes. Uh, some uh, outlets, so you can charge your phone, tablet, whatever it be, maybe if you wanna sit here and read a book, windows all the way around. Again, big windows let in a lot of light, and of course the LED lights in the top of the slide. Uh, and then next to that is the dinette. And again, part of the reason I love this layout, if you, if you know me, you know that I love a campsite dinette. Because, you know, this is, this is what I wanna see, right? I wanna sit well, I mean, not technically, I have another RV right there, but if I were at a campsite, I'd be able to look out and see my campsite, right? I can see, you know, my kids playing, uh, well, hopefully not playing in the fire, but, you know, playing around the fire pit, you know, on a scooter, uh, having a good time out there. You know, I'm sitting here eating breakfast, drinking my morning coffee, getting ready for the day so I can uh, handle my beautiful little children. So again, I love this uh, dinette being here, and of course, you know, this allows you to uh, have that additional sleeping space as well. So if you need to drop it down, you need some additional sleeping space, this is it. Get your morning coffee in, have a place for the family to eat dinner, um, you know, or again, if uh, you have guests over, you have a place to play board games. I don't know about you guys, I'm a big board game guy. I love having a, de a designated place for that. And then we start to move into the kitchen space where you have the pantry. Um, the, a couple things I like about this. One, a lot of manufacturers, when they try to do a rear kitchen, for whatever reason, they just put the pantry way too close to the slide, and then it just doesn't open. You know, the dinette will be out here and it stops like right there. I'm like, well, this is useless. Uh, you can see that they actually tested their products because it, the door can open far enough. I can utilize all this space, which I love. You have a, a nice big space on the bottom here. You can see this comes out a little bit here too. And then they uh, put your fuse panel in your breaker box in here, which I think is a pretty good spot. It's out of the way. Again, you know, if you're uh, grandparents and you know you have your grandkids come, you don't have to worry about them getting in there and uh, you know messing with the fuses or flipping breakers off. So I like that it is tucked away. And again, it's kind of it's not, not something you wanna see all the time. And then when you get to the back, you will notice the big uh, kitchen countertop. This is a huge win for me. I like to cook when, uh, when I'm camping, you know, we like to entertain a lot. We like to uh, have big prep surfaces. This allows you to do that. You don't have to rely on that three burner cooktop. You have all that excellent prep space, plus some additional space over here. You can see the electrical outlet. Also, it is worth noting, uh, this one comes with the Solar Flex 200, which is, you know, you have your uh, 200 watts of solar up top. But if you upgrade to that 400, you can also get the inverter. So you have inverted outlets that are pre-built in. That way you can utilize those just off the battery, which is really cool. Storage all the way across the top, you'll see that they uh, kind of have like a two-tone, right? A little bit darker here in the kitchen, but they offset that with your nice bright countertops. Um, magnets, I, I actually prefer having ma uh, magnetic catches rather than, you know, the kind of the old style. I think that just works a lot better. High rise faucet, nice big uh, undermount stainless steel sink. They're able to undermount because you have that. The, the pressure treated top, essentially, right? Uh, thermal form, thermal foil, whatever you want to call it. Basically, it is a, you get kind of the look and appearance of a solid surface, but it's a lot lighter weight. And something that is weight sensitive, that is a huge bonus. You don't have to worry about T-mold or anything coming off. I also love this spot, that they have a spot for a dedicated trash can. That's a big one for me. Hate having my trash can out. Um, you get this guy, which is pretty nice. You know, kind of like the, the, the pull out mini pantry for, you know, Pop-Tarts, uh, <laughs> graham crackers, whatever else you want to toss in there. And then drawer space here as well, some larger drawers. I like having some bigger drawers. That way you have a spot for some of your pots and pans. Uh, again, a lot of times in the kitchens, you're just missing that when we're talking about RVs. Three burner recessed cooktop, pretty standard run of the mill stuff here. You had the oven down below, uh, you know, microwave up top. Again, nothing, nothing too uh, crazy there, but it is nice that they have the oven. Some manufacturers are actually going away from it. You will see the GE 12 volt refrigerator. Why is a 12 volt refrigerator great? Well 
because again, you can just run it off the batteries, um, especially because this one can be optioned for the Dragonfly lithium batteries, which this one, this particular coach does have. We'll see that when we go outside. Uh, but I just, I do like that option. Now, remember folks, if you want some like bigger kitchen space, um, you know, like maybe you want a kitchen island. If you can tow something a little bit heavier, the Outback 328 RL is an excellent option. It gives you that kitchen island. It gives you some extra space. Uh, it's definitely one worth that is uh, worth looking at. Again, if you can handle that extra weight with a tow vehicle. You have some storage up top as we move into that entertainment center. And again, big TV. That's kind of going to be your focal point here in the main living area. Uh, but I personally like it. I know it's not for everyone, but you know I like having that large TV, especially on rainy days. Multimedia center underneath with some uh, storage. I also want to mention if we take a look up top, you can see the barreled ceiling. So it is pretty tall in here. I'm uh, six foot tall. You can see I have pretty good headroom. So if you're a taller person, this is actually a pretty good RV option. Uh, Blade AC system is a Keystone exclusive, and it is a, just an awesome system. It gives you 360 cooling. It is quieter. Uh, it's a lot more efficient. They use a racetrack. You can see, you know, you have essentially the, the double duct work right here. Uh, so it does a great job of keeping everything nice and cool. This one does come with one AC, but you have the option for a second in the bedroom if you want it. And then coming up front here, or uh, move, making our way up front, we move into the bathroom. You can see the shower. It is a Neo Angle style shower. And if I step in here again, it's six foot tall. Now, I, have, I have a ton of room, especially with that skylight. So again, if you're a taller person looking for a, a uh, RV friendly, right? Um, or a friendly RV for tall people, this is a great option. Good space when I sit on the toilet, porcelain bowl as you would expect in an outback, but great shoulder room, excellent leg space. Uh, same countertops as our kitchen here in the bathroom, some storage underneath, mirrored medicine cabinet there. Two entrances into the bedroom. You have the one right here from the bathroom, so if you have to get up in the middle of the night, use the bathroom, it's nice and easy. And then you have uh, the other one, you can kind of come in from the main entryway. But if you step on into the bedroom with me here, a couple quick things I do wanna hit on. You have your queen bed, um, this is a 60 by 74. So it is a, an RV queen, right? It's a little bit shorter than your standard uh, residential size queen bed, but they, they kind of need it because that's what allows you to be able to walk through. Otherwise, you'd have to use the, the doors to get to separate sides of the bed. You also have a laundry chute. You can see that right here. So that just goes right down into the pass-through, which I have that pass-through door open. Um, but you know, it's a, a nice place for dirty clothes right down there. Of course, for your clean clothes, you can hang them up here. Additional storage across the top. Right there is where that uh, second AC prep will go. And, you know, if you want to watch TV in the bedroom, you can certainly do that as well as you have the connections here. Once again, you'll see this is an inverted outlet. So even if you are, uh, you know, boondocking and you have that Solar Flex 400, you can still watch TV, which is pretty darn cool. So a few quick things on the outside. One is the fact it does come with a power tongue jack standard, which is great to have for obvious reasons. Two 30 pound propane tanks as well. A lot of manufacturers and travel trailers give you 20s, so I do like the upgraded tanks. And you can see right back here, we have the optional lithium batteries. Uh, that's why you have the, the bigger box on there. Lithium is absolutely fantastic. We do have, uh, they have the heater built in. The switch is inside for that. Three quarter front cap on the ultralight there with the uh, LED light tape, which I always like, uh, gives it a nice look. Then we come around to the pass-through magnetic catch, big pass-through space in there too. Of course, we can see our uh, solar charge controller as well as the disconnect for it. And you can see a tire prep monitoring system. So if you do want that tire, uh, th that, uh, tire pressure monitoring, it is already prepped, makes it super easy to install. If you want the outside TV, you have the connection right there for it. I always love that option. Power stabilizing jacks too. You can see the control here. The front one will operate uh, the front two. There's another control in the back to operate the rear two. The Lippert solid step, uh, we have to level that out a little. It's a little high, but uh, I do like having these solid steps. Makes it super easy to get in and out. Of course, aluminum treads, they won't rust. And then you have the foldable grab handle there as well. Uh, up above, of course, are your two exterior speakers which are tied into that entertainment center we saw inside of that multimedia center. And you have your power awning with LED lights built in. And uh, that will cover uh, essentially this entire slide. So it does come out and over, which is really nice. Almost like a built-in uh, slide topper, which is kind of, uh, kind of a nice feature. Again, there's that rear control, as I mentioned, for the rear stabilizer jacks. Of course, we have the uh, rear bumper on here, it has the end caps that we can slide your sewer hose in there. Got your spare tire mounted to it, super simple and easy to get to. I do wanna show that this one has your uh, fully insulated and enclosed underbelly. You can kind of see like that 
uh, that astrofoil on there, which is going to help insulate uh, that underbelly as well. So that uh, you know, not only is it going to keep road grime and stuff out, but also keep it a little bit warmer in the colder climates. You have a rear mounted ladder so you can climb up onto the fully walkable roof, which is always great. Rear camera prep will be up there as well. And then on the uh, off door side, a couple quick things. One is the tankless water heater. This one does have the tankless. So that way you have, uh, you know, essentially almost unlimited hot water, which is wonderful. 50 amp uh, plug in there, as you would expect with two ACs or rather the second AC prep, you have to have 50 amp for that. Good exterior storage here too, something you will oftentimes don't get. So I like that it's nice and tall. You know, if you can fit, uh, maybe fit a golf bag in there, some pool noodles, things like that. Just some good uh, large exterior storage. And then of course, we have uh, some, some additional storage uh, space right up here. Right, again, folks, if you're looking for you know, something a little bit bigger, the Outback I mentioned earlier is an excellent option. If you're looking for something lightweight, this one right here is an absolute killer.